So, Craig, you know, I sold copy machines before I got in the business. <laughs> I know that. I, for I bet there's a story out of that. I bet there's a story out of that. Well, there, there are actually many, but, you know, I, I worked for 3M. 3M was a great company. They had a great training program. had a great sales manager. It was my first sales job. It was a commodity, so, you know, there was a relatively quick gratification. You had to get make cold calls. We can talk about that in a minute. Uh, but the product wasn't the best product in the market. The Xerox product was, which also wasn't bad because you just had to sell harder. You had to make sure you asked for the order before the Xerox guy came, came in. in. <laughs> right. Got to close. So the biggest problem with selling the, was selling the 3M machine, and, of course, there were many machines, was that, the best and the biggest was also the biggest. It was called the 209 machine. It was about as big as this table, maybe six feet in, uh, in its length. And it was on a stand. And I'm in West LA, uh, not a bad territory because uh, Westwood is there, you know, with some high rise, but also a lot of two story walk ups, no elevator. So I got to carry this. 209, this big machine on its stands up a couple flights of stairs. And that is not an easy deal to do. <laughs> Much easier coming down than it is going up. So I walk into this office and our whole deal was, you know, features, advantages, benefits. We had to make so many cold calls, we had so many presentations right, right. every week. And so we're measured by that. It was great. It was, I was competitive. You know, we had about 10 guys in the office and I'm not complaining. I stayed there three years. I can't believe I stood there. I stayed there that, that long. Um, but uh, I take this machine up this two-story office building, and I make this presentation, the demonstration, they call them demos, to, to these three guys. It's a hot September day. And in September in Southern California and Los Angeles can mean the upper 90s. And that heat stays with you until the late afternoon. And uh, I make a pitch, and you know I can't close them. And and we would demonstrate the quality of the copies by a site seller. So we would have all different kinds of copies, and and we'd make copies of their product, but we'd also have these demonstration copies. And uh, so I put my site seller down, and make the presentation. Now it's time to leave. I take my machine out. Carry it back down the stairs. All the way down the stairs. Put it in there, and it collapsed as you put it in the trunk of the, the of station wagon, which was a company car. And I left my sight seller there. So I get out of the car, I go back up, walk up the stairs, open the door, I don't bother to knock or anything, because I had just left, just in time to hear these guys talking about me. And the, hear one guy in particular say, how would you like to be that sorry son of a bitch and have to sell that machine <laughs> at this time in the day? <laughs> <laughs> that's so, me. Uh, that's me, right? Yeah, that was the first uh, time I realized that maybe there was another career. There's something else out there. <laughs>